Welcome to Pitt Street Research. Uh, with us today is uh, Leonard Tronconi from Parkth. Welcome, Len. Thank you very much indeed, Mark. Um, to kick things off, can you talk to us about Parkth? What do you guys do, and, and how you make your uh, how you generate revenues? Yes. Um, well, Parkth is a uh, publicly listed company. We're listed on the stock exchange in uh, December 2017. We are Australia's only design and constructor of modular car parks. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have uh, we use patented technology to um, build relocatable and or permanent uh, car park structures in across Australia. Right. Um, our car parks are flexible. They um, are basically designed for the end user in mind. Mm -hmm. So we are able to sort of do either temporary or permanent sort of car parks. Our car parks use traditional construction methods in terms of uh, they being concrete structures and they look and feel no different to any other car park in right. Australia. And what, what, you say end user, what, what is your typical customer? Yes, our typical customer tend to be uh, car park operators such as uh, airport corporations, mm -hmm. off airport car parks, um, operators, uh, people in the automotive, uh, re automotive uh, industry. Um, so f for dealerships, for instance? Dealerships, that's exactly right. Shopping centre operators and uh, and developers generally. Right. Okay. Um, so you know we, we spoke about this before, but in terms of um, overdue investment in infrastructure. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about that and, and how that helps your business? Yeah, very much so. Well, for the last two years, we haven't seen much investment in uh, in infrastructure in Australia, particularly in car parks. However, with the recent, um, you know, federal government announced, you know, stimulus package, they've actually put aside half a billion dollars to build uh, national commuter car parks across Australia. Right. In fact, the very first one to come out for tender is the one in our home state of Western Australia, which is the Mandurah uh, Manager Station multi-level car parks, which we are now tendering with a tier one right. builder as partner. Okay. So... If you look at, at car parks, um, you've got the traditional way of, of doing things, yes. uh, and you've got your way of doing things. Can you yes. talk a little bit about sort of your secret sauce? Where 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 is the IP, and yes. and, and how does it help you in, in winning business? Yes, Mark. Uh, effectively, our what differentiates us is that all our manufacturing is done off site, so it it differs from traditional builders who basically do concrete pouring and control a site for a long period of time. Right. Ours is a just-in-time um, solution where, as I sort of said, all the manufacturing is done off-site. It is then transported to on-site, and then it's craned and basically erected in situ on-site. Right. So our on-site time tends to be less than half of traditional builds method. So we have minimum on-site sort of disruption. Uh, we've actually found in the one car park that we built for a car dealership that it provided no disruption to their uh, to their business right. and they were able to sort of carry out our business whilst our car park was being built. Right. And so that's on the on the construction side and the, yes. and the, and the modular manufacturing. Is there any sort of specific IP or any secret sauce? Yes. We, we've got two components to it. One is what we call our constant voidable beam and the other one is the park transportable panel. What they are is basically components that enable the, um, the panels to be bolted on a series of columns mm -hmm. and uh, which then forms the, the car parking structure. But at the end product feels and looks no different to any traditional car right. park. Okay. And in terms of the business model, um, can you talk a little bit about how you generate revenues? Are there yes. you know, elements that are new to, yes. to the industry? Maybe? Yeah, very much so. Look, our business model is relatively simple. You know, we design and build car parks. And uh, we're, we're, as I sort of said, we were a bit different to the traditional method in that our, our basically like a Lego sort of component that we right. erect on site. Um, you know, our business model is to basically commercialize that intellectual property and we're not um, you know exclusive use we, we don't wish to be exclusive use users of it mm -hmm. we're happy for other people to license that technology offices right. as well okay yeah. yeah so there could be potential so uh, revenue sources revenue. as well yeah. yes all right so looking out a bit longer term what are your aspirational goals for parties? yeah no look our aspirational goals is to basically commercialize our um, our ip We'd also like to be in a position in the medium to long term to own a suite of uh, car parking assets which right. uh, generate basic cash flows for the company. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and we also look to sort of own our own sort of modular car parks or temporary structures where we can hire and lease for short-term requirements, right. you know, where, where there is an immediate need. Excellent. Mm. Leonard, thanks for being with us. No, thank you very much, Mark. I appreciate it.